Just kind of go through this. Um, first of all, I want to thank a lot of people, obviously. This culmination of where we're at right now, what, what we've kind of been through throughout the season. When me and first, or myself and Sean first got to our first practice, and after that practice, and in the locker room, I was like, oh my God, we got a project ahead of us. But uh, I'll tell you what, things evolved. Everybody stepped up to the plate. It takes a group effort. You know, obviously, you can see in the stands, we got more people in, in this town than we do in our own town for games, and it was just crazy. So we were totally blessed that, uh, that you guys uh, stepped up to the plate. We've got a few people that really put a lot of extra time into what we did. And uh, like I tell the kids, Appreciate your parents. They not only commit their time, but they pay the bill. And they're shuttling you back and forth to the rink every day. So they're just as big, big a part of this as anybody else. So anyway, thank you, parents. Thank you, guys. Very much. You. The first person uh, I want to thank uh, that has just done a ton of work for us. And uh, she didn't really want to take this task on at the beginning but I kind of begged her and, and shamed her into it in front of all of you. And uh, anyway, did a fantastic job this year. We really appreciate what you did, and that was Nicole Landers. Come on up. I tasked her with a lot of tasks this year, and she was on point every single time, and totally appreciated what she did as well. And, and in their in their their uh, packages, they've got a bottle of wine, and Sean says, "Well, she doesn't drink." And I said, oh. So anyway, I told her that her husband could take care of the business. But anyway, Christine Greco, please. <laughs> least our manager who did a fantastic job this year um, anyway it's a it's a huge task it takes tons of time and as coaches a lot of times we don't want to deal with the little things that uh, that it takes to put our team together and, and to make our team work and uh, she did a great job this year Katie Sanders <laughs> gift card in there from Starbucks, uh, all kinds of coffee and uh, a bottle of wine and, and another little treat. So, uh, the last person I want to thank that, uh, not the last, but the one that um, I'll tell you right now, if you've ever seen a stat sheet, a guy that sits in the stands with <laughs> stats, oh, I get these sheets. It's a little rough to uh, decipher what was going on, but he actually sat me down and educated me a little bit on the stat sheet. But I get a full page every game. And you don't think it helps, but it does help. Because you find out your plus minuses, your shots on that, your everything. And uh, anyway, did a great job. He's been doing this probably, I don't know, 10 years for me. And I uh, totally appreciate him, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Colonel Booba Sanders. Yeah, Booba. Colonel Booba. Booba. Chick fil A, that's what happened. Yeah. yeah. You tell him your name's Bubba and you're in South yeah. Chicago, they call you Booba. <laughs> so I told these kids at the beginning of the year, here before after the state tournament, that we won a state title, which was monumental. There's not a lot of kids that win a state title. That's right. And you have the opportunity. I, I played, trust me, I played all the way through college hockey and, and in my youth never won a state championship. And these guys had an opportunity to win a state title. And I was talking to Sean the other day. My son's group, which we grew up through, won like four or five state titles. And uh, just, I told him, I said, you were one of the most spoiled people ever. I said, you've had an opportunity to go to national tournaments, win state titles, play junior hockey, things like that. So this is one thing that nobody can take away from you. That's right. Is a state championship. And I'll tell you what, another thing is this. We have had five teams in the Matsu Valley ever have went to a national tournament tournament and you're one of them. So anyway, it's a huge honor for you to do that and I thought, I tell you what, great experience. We came into this tournament and you know what, we were competitive, we did very well. A few things here and there, we could be sitting there playing today and we're playing. Mm -hmm. But uh, it didn't happen, but we'll learn from that and hopefully next year, year after that, we'll take care of business. So anyway, congratulations to you guys, state champions. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
So I, I promised you guys, I don't work on Fridays, and email me or have your parents email me, talk to your teachers or your principal especially, find out a day when we can show off the trophy, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go through players, and I wanna talk a little bit about them, kind of how, how they evolved throughout the season. And this guy here, he was our choir kid, okay? <laughs> was fan until this weekend, he's been in my band all weekend, and he's been an agitator. <laughs> I was going to tell his mother I'm breaking the belt out here before long. <laughs> tell you what, maybe one of the smallest guys in our team, but I'll tell you what, has tons of heart, oh, yeah. never comes to the bench, complaining, never comes, I mean, I know he's been hurt 50 times this year, comes to the bench, he shakes it off, he never misses a shift, had a fantastic weekend, and that's Branson Stark. <laughs> You gotta show us, you gotta show us. Yeah. 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 All right, next guy. Um, tell you what, got injured a month and a half ago. Was one of our best players the first half of the season. First year kid, got a ton of points. He's very, very dynamic. Um, he's one of those special players in small areas that is really, really good. And, uh, and down the road, it's going to really pay off for him. He needs to pack on 25 pounds with him this summer. But uh, tell you what, he could be the best uh, 14 player in the league next year and had a great season. That's Aiden Finch. Hold, hold, yeah. Oh, mom's photo up. Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to get one extra mom. Here. Yeah, just leave it on the table right here when you're done. <laughs> All right, next player. Probably our top two defensemen this year. Probably one of the best defensemen in the league. Drives me crazy at times. <laughs> he loved to go this direction, but... Uh, he had a great season, I'll tell you what. And you want to talk about heart, this guy's got more heart than anybody else. As far as his compete factor, he's a competitor, he wants to win, it bothers him when he loses, and uh, I'll tell you what, it's going to take him a long way, and that's Kevin Quillen. season and anyway guys every single day improved 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 and then I think he looked over and said well you guys are doing a lot of winning I think I'm going back to the <laughs> he said so dad see you later but uh, anyway had a great season I'll tell you what his compete factor same thing very very physical in this tournament he's improved a ton one of the most improved players that we have on our team and he's going to continue to get better and that's David Wilson <laughs> Psychological warfare all the time. 
and uh, which we've been doing on, our, on your kids actually for about the last six months. But uh, it's paid off for us. I mean, you can tell. You know, there, there's a lot of to, to build a team. It takes a lot. You need to know your players. Okay, you need to spend a lot of time with your players. When you try to do that, that's the Sean's pretty dynamic and and some of the things he goes to Value Village or he goes to the dollar store and he buys twenty little trinkets and the kids get player of the game and they get all excited about you know, getting this uh, thirty eight cent toy. Anyway, but it's good. It's, it's, it's a great motivator and, and uh, this guy one tournament I, w I had a marker and I thought you know what for good luck I'm gonna mark on your neck so I, I dropped your neck and anyway so uh, yeah, that that, I, I know. but it worked. It did. So anyway, dotted his nose and I took his stick and I wrote R and R on it. And he kind of looks at me, what is that? Well, it's not rich and rare. Okay. Yeah. It means uh, the Russian rocket. There you go. So therefore, <laughs> the tape went away, and all of a sudden we got to the tournament, and I looked down on the stick, and he did it himself. So we kind of liked it. Oh, yeah. But uh, It's on his profile. It's on his profile, actually. <laughs> so anyway, he did a great job this year. Young player, huge improvement, gigantic improvement. That's right. Um, anyways, we can't wait till, till we see him on the 14 team. All those first-year guys, you know, we took – and we got criticized a little bit in our community about maybe some of the players that we took or how we took players. And I tried to preserve a 14 team for next year by taking a lot of, you know, some of our young players. We have seven first-year players, and we have um, 11 second-year players. So we've, we've got a good base coming back next year. And obviously the PB, um, you know, tier two team took second state, so a lot of those guys are moving up. So we're really excited about the 14 situation as well as the 16 situation. But this guy fits into that situation. So, anyway, nice job. Come on up. And he is the fastest talker on the planet. Let's hear it. Speech. I've never heard him talk. Oh, he can talk. He can talk. <laughs> <laughs> this next player we got, I mean, uh, I can consider him probably a top candidate for the most valuable player that we have on our team. He's been captain consistent all year long. He was unbelievable in last night's game and the game before. And uh, he's had a great season. And I'll tell you what, the other day I'm driving by the rink, and I see him, and we're kind of pulling up. My wife's in the car, and she's like, I didn't know Logan was still playing. I go, that is his brother. I mean, they are twinage. Um, <laughs> Logan was that age. He said, Sayers better, he's bigger. So, anyway, <laughs> but uh, had a great season. Totally appreciate his attitude this year. He was on point, on everything, and uh, he's going to be a great player for us next year, and Sayers Sanders. <laughs> Barbershop will be open here in the next like 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we know how to do it. We'll get it. Hey, over there. Up there. <laughs> 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 All right, next guy. Defenseman as well. The last day of tryouts, we had kind of a unique situation. We picked probably 12 players for sure that were going to be on our team. They took to the last practice, actually the last 15 minutes. So I took the secondary 12 players and I matched them up and we played one-on-one. -on -one. And I matched up players that maybe I would take, maybe I won't take, blah, blah, blah. This, he actually was not on my radar screen, even in the first practice and a half. And then all of a sudden, I got to see, you know, of course he's one of just gets on the rink. But anyway, I got to see him moving up down the rink and skate. I was like, hey, that, you know, that's an opportunity we have to take a look at. So we matched him up in a one-on-one -on -one battle with, with some players. And I told him, I said, hey, here it is. You're, you're trying out for the team in the next 15 minutes. So get busy. And he was a wrecking ball. I mean, he took care of business. I was like, we're taking that kid. And not only that, he's one of those first-year guys. And I told him the other day, I sat down with him and said, hey, Gage, you could be the best defenseman in the league next year. Okay? 
you work hard, no confidence, and you know what? He's gotten better and better and better and better. And he's going to be a fantastic player next year. Let's get shape. I sat down with this guy, and I'm telling you, a commitment. Think about this. 14 years old or 15 years old, you're a freshman, okay? You come in at 205. You sit down with that kid. You say, listen, you got to make a commitment, okay? You want to be faster. You want to be better. You want to be a top guy. Guess what you have to do? Exercise, eat right, drop some weight, and take care of business. He joins football. He goes out. He works his tail off. He ends up losing 25, 30 pounds, okay? He's not even close to the blur he was in tryouts. He is so much better, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, maybe one of my most frustrating players that I have on my team. <laughs> but you know what? You, you have those guys, and you need those guys. And you know what? He just wants to win, and guess what happened yesterday? I mean, he, he was in the outhouse at the beginning of the game because um, I was jerking on him, and he scored a goal, so he's kind of climbing out. And then all of a sudden, he gets the game winner, so he's in the penthouse. But anyway, <laughs> unbelievable player. He's dynamic, and he's going to be very, very good if he continues to work. And uh, anyway, go and haul Tell you what, you want to talk about a competitor. He's a competitor, okay? And actually, when he got bonked over the head this year and threw about 14 punches to the head, I think he goes over and goes, oh, sorry, God. And I said, hey, I would have done the same thing. Nice work. It, it, I think it shocked him a little bit, but you have to stand up for yourself, and that was totally inappropriate. But anyway, had a great season, worked hard. He's going to continue to get better. He's a good athlete. He's a two sport, three sport athlete. And uh, he's going to be a fantastic player in the future. That's right, you know. He's got the best hair, too. He's going to say great hair, too. Don't say that in front of That plastic out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. Next guy, I just actually picked my phone up and I went to look at it. My screensaver's his face. <laughs> he's actually snapped off about 80 pictures on him. So I told him, guess who's giving you a ride home? Me. I'm wearing my belt. You're late. You're in trouble. So, anyway, character. Good kid, good kid, great player. And uh, he's been one of those consistent guys all year long, second year guy. He's been a leader on the rank. You know, we played that, te that team two days ago. And you know, that was a tough game. It was, it was physical. It was, it was, it was tough. And uh, anyway, in playing that game, those second-year guys were out there, and they battled. They battled with him. He was one of them. So anyway, had a great season. Joey Kirk. Joseph? 
up too, boy. These are the guys that we had in our band. I'll tell you what, though, the prize goes to Mr. Greco. I mean, he dealt with some, some issues in that band. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> our band's the best. So, hey, next guy. I'll tell you what. He started out playing defenseman for us and uh, did a great job. And I went to him and I said, hey, listen, I need you to play forward. I need you to move up and play forward. we got to move our team around a little bit. We made some adjustments. He never complained, ever. And uh, did just a fantastic job for us. And constantly smiling, no matter what, showing the team. He uh, he did a great job this year, and looking forward to to him next year. And that is Cutter Jones. And he goes to Reddington. <laughs> we'll change that. <laughs> Mr. Salmon loves it. Come on, where's the tape? Oh, there. <laughs> 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 You're walking home. It's a long walk. It's a long walk. Plenty of time to think Hey, another guy. I'll tell you what. It's amazing when you look around at these players, and some of these guys have grown like six inches this season. It is crazy. And I mean, this guy continues to keep growing. He's, he's going to catch up in his body. But I'll tell you what. You want to talk about the most improved player we have on our team. At the beginning, I knew this would be a little bit of a project, and all of a sudden, he works. He works as hard as anybody, on and off the ice. But I'll tell you what, this guy's improvement speed-wise, um, gap control, just the smarts of the game has been incredible this year. And if I was to give an award for most, or most improved player, it would be this guy. He's talking to Wolf. kid I've seen on the planet. But anyway, he had an, un I'll tell you what, you want about to talk about a team player. It's tough when you're a goaltender, okay? Goaltenders get hot, they're, some don't, and all of a sudden you got to ride the hot goaltender, okay? It's tough when a kid's 14 years old and he's a team guy. We made a bet, if we won the state title, we're cutting your hair off. <laughs> and right after the game, okay, before the game, it was, it was, we had a tough situation. I sat down with him and I said, hey, listen, like, you know what? Phillip's hot right now, he's going to play in the state championship game. And he knew. I mean, he knew. He told me. He's like, yeah, no problem. But it's an emotional time. It's a tough thing. Yeah, but he was a team guy the whole way. He's been a team guy all year long. And uh, you know what? He got a little hot in this tournament. He played and, and, and did a fantastic job. And uh, I'll tell you what, he is, uh, I, was, I was totally proud of him, especially after having a conversation in the state tournament and how he stepped up and said, I understand, Coach, but it's emotional. I'm upset. I want to play. I know I said, I know you want to play. I says, but he goes, I know that, that uh, Philip deserves to play, and that's just the way it is. So, and after the game, he's the first guy off the bench, you know, out there slapping high fives and doing his thing, and then he's like, where's the scissors? Because I kind of forgot. <laughs> and so we had our little ceremony, cut your good box off. And he was uh, but good guy. I mean, just great. Malachi. <laughs> Yeah, we talked about goaltending, and I'll tell you what, goaltender, you can win and you can lose games. And if you're a goaltending parent, it's got to be as stressful as it gets because uh, I'll tell you what, the puck has to travel 185 feet through your forwards, your defensemen, and it finally gets to you, and guess what? You let a puck in, it's your fault. They forget that there's other jobs being done ahead of you when you're trying to eliminate the, the opportunities for the team to get shots. But 
this guy, I'll tell you what, in the state tournament was unbelievable. He was one of the top goaltenders in the league, um, stat-wise. And uh, we we're proud of him. He did a great job this year. And I'll tell you what, you want, he's competitive. I, I mean, I can hear him. He doesn't, he doesn't think I can, but he's 100 feet away. And I can hear him <laughs> flapping in, in the net. But uh, I got good hearing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he, uh, he did a great job this year. Phil for a coaches, you know, kids kind of have their own agenda at times, as you know, as a parent. And, you know, when you can count on a kid, hey, listen, this is what I want you to do. You're going to be doing this. this. Hey, like, and you may not be the star today. That's okay. I just want to win. And that, that's this guy. Okay? Great teammate. And did a great job. Hard to off. Fantastic, great kid, and I, I will tell a couple stories. And I guess the one story is, is that you see, you see what, where, yeah, where are you eating? I brought my own food. <laughs> okay, so every time we go out, he prepares his own stuff, and, and uh, it's healthy, and, and does a great job. And, and uh, his parents don't know he does get that big fall from the pop. And <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's been a great kid. He's one of our fantastic kids we have on our team. He doesn't say a whole lot, but he did look at me yesterday. Two days ago on the bench, and he says, Hey, coach. And of course, that never comes out. I said, Yes, Gal. I got a lot of gas in the tank. I said, Okay, you're in there. So, anyway, he played, and, and I'll tell you what, he worked his tail off. And you want to talk about improvement? He's one of those guys as well, him, Hawking. I mean, they just, their improvement was gigantic this year. And uh, anyway, he's going to go a long ways, and uh, he's a great, great kid. Um, Gal and Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> he said, so, anyway, he, uh, I'll tell you what, though, you know, talk about an athlete, the guy that has top end potential. I mean, he could be the best when he figures out some minor things in his game. His athleticism is going to propel him to be one of the best players there is in, in, in that league next year. So, and the league after, the year after. But uh, he was a man amongst children this weekend. He played unbelievable. He was our top guy this year, this, uh, this weekend. And I was totally proud of him. He's Drake Gallagher. <laughs> details, man. It's just details. You got four in one game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 Take a look at the improvement. Remember at the beginning of the year, there wasn't a lot of high expectations. We finished second in the tournament, and, and parents were going to stack or jumping up and down, and me and Sean are pissed. And we're like, well, what? We never thought we'd make it this far. I'm like, we thought we'd win, actually. <laughs> and the kids thought we'd win. And I think when you change that mentality a little bit, all of a sudden, guess what happens? The expectations are is that you do win. So you get to spots, you work harder, you, you do things. And, and we're trying to kind of put that culture out there with the Valley Thunder, and I think if you take a look back, I mean, obviously, I've been doing this for this is my 29th year, and I'm thinking to myself, the way things have evolved over the last like six, seven years, and where we're at today, um, the Valley Thunder is a good thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a good thing. We're bringing all the best players in the Massey Valley and put them on one team, and then we're tearing it off after that. And we found a lot of success. I mean, we have one, two, three state champions this year, okay, and a second place finish in the tier two division. That probably never been done down that suit out. So things are working and you as players, take a break. Take a break, regroup, and then get back after it. And I was totally proud of these guys when we took two weeks off after the state tournament because I did get a little backlash for some I, I heard it. Why aren't we practicing? Let the kids, they don't need to have supervised practice every minute of the day. Actually, when you're out on the rink or you're out on the lake, that's when you kind of develop some of the things that are pretty dynamic. And I know the one guy that probably skates three hours a day, seven or six days a week, Aiden Finch, and that's what I was talking about by being dynamic in small areas, because I know he goes across the street over to catch him, and he skate all the time. Even with a broken arm, I heard. I got a phone call. Mr. Cash, I'm going to be skating. Isn't it I'm going to be Anyway, so. No, it's a parent time. So anyway, the, that's, they need a lot more of that. So I, I think just some freedom out on ice where it's unsupervised, and that's why kind of why we put out, hey, there's some open ice, you can go to this, you can go to that, and I think it paid off. When they came back, they were fresh. I think we're way better than we were in the state tournament. And uh, I mean, obviously we played against a pretty stiff competition, but you know, keep, continue to develop, but go do some fishing, go do some snow shooting, do some other things. I, mean, I think it's important. I think multi-sport athletes are important. Um, you know, I push that as much as possible. USA Hockey does, but they don't really follow it fundamentally. But, um, you know, I, I think it's important that you do that. And I'll tell you what, I had a ton of fun this year with you guys. It was a ton. I mean, we had a great time, me and Sean. We look forward to coming to practice. Never did I say, oh, my God, i got to go to practice today. Do you love those kids? <laughs> Maybe so. But, anyway, it was, but, but it was fun. We had a good time with them. And, and I think that they had a good time. And I think that the success, you know, the expectations on moving forward, is that, you know what, we're gonna have a lot of success in the future. And I, and I think whatever team you land on next year, I did tell these guys, it was a motivating uh, speech to them in our last game, I said, listen, potentially our coaching staff will coach 14s and 16s next year, because 16s have a short season. And if that, this is your tryout. This is your tryout. So have some good character, work hard, and do the things you're supposed to do. And don't be selfish, okay? And you know what? There's a lot, there's some kids here that won't make comp teams next year probably. And there's some kids that will. But as you move forward, no matter what level that you're playing at, just continue to develop and get better. That's all I gotta say. So thank you very much.
He doesn't okay, know how so to speak. Carter. Here's what we got going on right now. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to the uh, trampoline park. Okay. We're going to the trampoline park. We're going to start out with a nice dodgeball game. <laughs> so, in the next five minutes. There's a lot of money in some of these mouths, okay? So please, guys. <laughs> They're not hardball. Go for the chicklets. <laughs> yeah, so. Anyway, let's get in the vans. And we're going to go to the We got all our stuff. Five minutes? I'm going to take their stuff upstairs. Yeah, take all your stuff upstairs. <laughs> Just because we're driving the van, yeah. we can't get I'm just going to leave it keep going in the room.